Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. <laughs> no, really, I, I mean it. Besides, you men get better looking the older that you get. Look at this guy. Huh? He's strong, vital, sexy. Isn't he something? <laughs> You really think I'm better looking now? You're a much more attractive man than when I first met you. Much more. And there's no telling what you may yet achieve. I went to the library today, and I found a book <laughs> that contains a list of people who made contributions well into their latter years. Listen to this. Leo Tolstoy, Albert Schweitzer, Grandma Moses, Bertrand Russell, Picasso, Goethe. Oh, now he's my favorite. Yeah, mine too, mine too. He... <laughs> what are you doing? I just thought I'd make the room look a little more romantic. Do you keep reading? You go right ahead. <laughs> oh, Sam, this is wonderful. An old person wouldn't be doing this. This is the act of a vital, strong young man who wants a woman, who wants sex, who won't get it. <laughs> How about all the things that are never gonna happen? I'm never gonna get married. I'm never gonna have a baby. I'm never gonna get old. I don't even have a gray hair. Sure you do, right here. I do. Ah! Oh, that won't be. Oh, oh, oh! It would have been us one of these days, wouldn't it? Huh? You and me married. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sam's and Diane's ready. Oh yeah. Oh God. Why didn't I ask you when I had the chance? Why did I go to Europe? Oh, sorry. We're still going together. Yeah. I love it! <laughs> Jack, what the hell are you doing alive? Salt. Fly the damn plane. It was a little trick I learned in Tibet. I, I slowed my metabolism down to a heartbeat a minute. What the hell did you do Fly back there? Fly the damn plane, <laughs> you, man? This is about to crash. Now we're not going to crash. We're at 20,000 feet. Big deal, Jack. Hey, relax, folks. You're on autopilot the whole time. Oh. Well, you were when I left. Uh-huh. Who's been screwing around with the controls here, huh? <laughs> that was the rottenest, stupidest, sleaziest thing anyone's ever done. Chambers, I saw comfortable and safe and domestic written all over your face tonight, and I couldn't stand it. You needed this. You too, Malone. You needed to step to the brink. You needed to look into the gaping maw of death and live to tell about it. I'm going to stick my fist in your gaping maw. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. You live to thank me. From this day forward, you're reborn. Everything in your life's going to be better. You're, you're crazy. Food is going to taste better. I don't care. Flowers are going to smell better. You're, you're nuts. Sex is going to feel better. Sam, <laughs> what is this about? Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, calm three. Don Talbot's locker room, grand opening. Yeah, not only that, Don has got two other pubs opening at the same time. I mean, he's doing fantastic business here. And what's this got to do with the guy in the refrigerator? <laughs> nothing, Woody, nothing. This has to do with me. This has to do with my life. I mean, Don was up with the Red Sox for a cup of coffee, for goodness sake. I was there five years, and now this clown is a celebrity, and I'm paying my employees to come talk to me. <laughs> You're gonna be paying us a lot more unless this conversation starts getting exciting. Okay, fair enough. I brought you in here because I want to ask you a question. What is Cheers missing? A mechanical ball. <laughs> well, Woody, that was one of those questions you ask when you don't really want an answer. Oh, you mean rhetorical. <laughs> yeah, rhetorical, right. Anyway, what I'm gonna do here is I am going to come out from behind the bar and I am going to become a full-time 
manager slash host. A what? Manager slash host. Yeah, I greet people. That's no, perfect. I mean, let's face it, I'm recognized on the street. So is a fire hydrant. <laughs> How many are coming? Well, I don't know. They said they were sending over a whole herd, so uh, I guess we're going to be swamped here. I just hope we have enough food. What do you think, huh? Yeah, there we go. Ah, welcome. I'm Sam Malone, your host and owner of Cheers. You may remember me as Mayday Malone, the uh, relief pitcher for the Red Sox. Anyway, I just want you to know that the autographs are free, but the drinks are going to cost you. <laughs> Make him go away, Neil. <laughs> well, I'm welcome. Carla, a couple tables over here you may want to get to. Gee, wait on tables? Is that what a waitress is supposed to do? Thanks for the tip, Sam. Diane, we need a mop over here, please. I'll buy the bullets if you will pull the trigger. Shooting is too quick. I want him to suffer. Why don't you date him again? Get in gear, girls. We got new customers coming in. Not if you greet them. <laughs> what? What? Sam, this isn't working. We've done this for a week. And I haven't seen any more customers than there were before you took over as host. In fact, there are less. And you haven't come up with one good idea to increase business. Tonight's different. I booked a whole lodge into this place. I mean, tonight, tonight we're making Cheers history here. The little the old uh, Malone magic is beginning to spread. I could use some of that in my flowers. Just, oh. <laughs> I made an absolute ass of myself. Oh, come on, Diane. Lighten up. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Heck no. I've known chickens who can't do that as well as you. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, come on. It's no big deal. Nobody watches that stuff. It's not just the show. After I filmed that thing, I felt kind of good thinking that you guys had gone to all that trouble to get back at me like you would with each other. And I was thinking of myself as one of the gang, and now I don't know whether I'm more disappointed at that awful display on television or the fact that you still think of me as an outsider. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Uh, go in my place, lie down, take as much time as you want, feel better. <laughs> 